what if you have depression? You went to see the doctor, but the medicine didn't help, so you stopped taking it and stopped going to the doctor. There are a number of reasons that the medicine may not have worked for your depression. First, you may not have been on a high enough dose of the medicine. Many people don't get better because the dose of their antidepressant medicine is too low. Second, you may not have been on the medicine long enough. You need to be on a given antidepressant for at least eight weeks. And you need to be on the highest dose of that medicine that you can tolerate for at least three or four of those weeks. Third, you may have had side effects on the medicine that you were taking that kept you from being able to take the highest and most effective dose. In that case, you should switch to a different medicine and stay on that medicine for at least eight weeks with at least three to four weeks on the highest dose that you can tolerate. And fourth, you may have been on a medicine that didn't work for you. There are approximately 20 different antidepressant medicines. One medicine may work miracles for one patient and do nothing for another. And there's no way to tell in advance which medicine is best for you. The new brand name expensive antidepressants advertised on TV are no more likely to work than the older now generic medicines like Prozac and Zoloft. You and the doctor just have to pick one and stay with it long enough and on a high enough dose to see if it helps. And here's the way to see if it helps. At each visit for your depression, you and your doctor should answer three questions. First, have your depression symptoms completely gone away? The best way to tell is to use a form like the Quick Inventory of Depressive Symptomatology. Uh, this form is contained in the Texas Medication Algorithm Project Procedural Manual, Major Depressive Disorder Algorithm. This outstanding treatment resource is available free on the internet, and I've included a link on the end credit. Second, are you having side effects from your antidepressant? You should fill out a side effects form at each visit. You and your doctor might choose the forms on page 38 and 39 of the TMAP depression manual. And if you're having side effects, are they severe enough so that you couldn't take a higher dose of the medicine if you needed to? So if your symptoms haven't gone completely away, but you can't take a higher dose of the medicine because of side effects, then you and your doctor should discontinue your current antidepressant medicine and begin a new antidepressant. And then recheck in two to four weeks in order to avoid the antidepressant discontinuation syndrome. Your old antidepressant should be gradually discontinued as your new antidepressant is introduced. And the third question, are you taking the maximum recommended dose of your medicine? If the answer is no and your symptoms of depression have not completely gone away, then you and your doctor should increase the dose of your medicine. These suggestions are all based on the Major Depressive Disorder Clinician's Manual that I talked about before. The manual is an outstanding detailed guide on how to treat depression. Patients can read and understand this manual also. And the more you know about your medical problem, the better you and your doctor can work together. That's it for today. Thank you for visiting, and I hope you found this useful.